Welcome to the World of Tiglath 2014 Year in Review. It was a fun year. Uh, during 2014, we had a total of 22 different people play in the play in the campaign with a total of 23 characters. Only one player had two characters during the adventures. 13% of the uh, characters were female. At the end of the year, when I looked through all the records, 57% of the characters were still first level, which meant they either dropped off or didn't play long enough to reach second level or start later. Of the 22 players that played during 2014, 35% of them were human, 17% were elf. There were a scattering of other races. As you can see. We had a total of 44 adventures during the year. Uh, the largest party size was nine, the smallest party size was two. We averaged a little more than four players per adventure. The, during the year they killed 365 creatures. That averages out to be about eight and a quarter creatures per adventure. The more interesting one was 32% of all the creatures killed were insects of some sort. Of, the, of that, 24% of the creatures that were killed were ants, and 18% of the creatures were humanoids. That includes everything from ogres and onis, and doppelgangers. 13% of the creatures were skeletons. There were a smattering of other undead, but other skeletons of some sort. The party fought for several adventures, a band of toy soldiers that they um, managed to irritate. They eventually killed a total of 48 toy soldiers. That of all the creature types, they killed more toy soldiers than any other individual creature type. Ants and termites were broke. Oh, I broke up by a difference between warriors and uh, brutes and soldiers and uh, things like that. But they killed uh, 48 toy soldiers. The world of Tiglath is set up as a, a challenge as a after a major battle between the forces of Marzar who invade and Greth. And the party in theory is supposed to be trying to figure out how to get the how to defeat the Marzar, but they only killed one Marzar during the entire year. But during this set of adventures, certain innocents were um, shall we say oft. And that included uh, nine street urchins, which tried to scam the party, and the party slaughtered all the urchins. Um, Irina was a lady who came up to the party and asked her, asked them to help her get away from her abusive husband, Alfredo. Um, shortly after that, Irina meets up with Alfredo and castrates him. Uh, but the party ended up uh, responsible for the death of both Irina and Alfredo. Um, the party finds a bunch of uh, Marazar uh, in, in a town, and uh, they... Uh, anyway, Erskine is an informant, and they... Uh, to the Marazar, the party betrays Erskine and later on they receive a wooden box with Erskine's head in it. One of the more interesting adventure uh, situations that happened was a cleric named Mark uh, comes up and, to the party and asks them to uh, retrieve some components for him he needs for a special ritual. Uh, one of the components was the head of an unborn baby. And after some clarification, the party slaughtered Mark in a single, with a single uh, round. Uh, that was sort of interesting. So uh, that was the year of uh, 2014. Hopefully the year of 2015 will be um, even more interesting. Thank you for listening. 
Um, the background music uh, is provided by Purple Planet. Uh, so uh, thank you very much. It was a fun year.